Oh, hey, thanks, man. Well, Cheers. Here. No worries. Goodbye. Bye. <sighs> wait. No, wait. How'd you get in here? No! 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 Beretta. Founded in 1526 by Bartolomeo Beretta, manufacturing arbacus barrels, and still owned by the same family and based in the same town 498 years later, Beretta is quite literally the oldest firearms company on earth. In 1918, however, Beretta developed one of the first submachine guns in history in the form of the M1918 and continued with successive models including the legendary Beretta M12 in 1959. In the 2010s, however, Beretta updated the time-tested M12 design with modern polymers, ergonomics and a closed bolt in the form of the Beretta PMX released in 2017, where it now serves several nations today. Hi, I'm Andrew and in this week's video we'll be reviewing the new Umerx Beretta PMX GBB, made by KWA, the first ever replica of the Beretta PMX submachine gun. This rock solid airsoft gun is packed full of features and details, so let's get into it. Now the first thing you'll feel when picking up the PMX is it feels incredibly light. At just 2.4 kilograms, this platform's lightweight is due to its high strength fiberglass reinforced polymer body, just like the real thing excellent for carrying and using for extended periods of time. Now the detail on the PMX itself is exquisite. The body has a nice textured surface for extra grip and it is crammed full of identical license markings as the real thing. So let's do what we always do, muzzle the butt. And at the front over here, we have a tri-lug muzzle device for quick attach suppressors that can be removed with an Allen key at the bottom to reveal a 12 millimeter clockwise thread for additional accessories though you will have to need an adapter for most sort of 14 mm CCW accessories. Just behind, we have three Picatinny rails on the three, six, and nine o'clock positions with an included removable foregrip that in many ways harkens back to the earlier Beretta M12 that the PMX replaced. Now on the top over here, we have a big, metal monolithic top rail that spans the length of the receiver with a pair of folding front and rear sights included. One funny thing is that these also double as iron sights when they are folded down. Though, you can't really get a sight picture with a proper cheek weld. However, the adjustable aperture sights though, when flipped up, can be done from windage and elevation. And also, at the front and rear, you have front and rear ambidextrous sling mounts, though I have noticed that the holes are just a bit small, so it really depends on which sort of slings you'll be able to fit on. Over to the back, and we have the PMX's skeletonized folding stock. It's quite narrow, very solid, and has a really nice rubberized butt pad over here. Now to fold it, push this button on the left hand side to fold it onto the right hand side, and it'll stay folded by locking into place onto this tag underneath the ejection port. Now to unfold, just yank it up, and out, and then it's straight once more. Over to the bolt, and on the left side we have by default a reciprocating charging handle, so keep your fingers clear when firing. You can, however, switch the handle over to the other side of the bolt, should you want, just over here, where the little hole that is attached. Now, open the bolt itself, and you are presented with a nice tactile hop-up within the chamber that can be adjusted with your finger. Now, this is a remarkable improvement over other KWA guns, where before you'd have to use a frankly awful proprietary hop-up adjustment tool. So big points to KWA for making it adjustable on the fly while in game. Underneath, however, we have a fully ambidextrous change lever going from safe 
semi, and fun mode. The PMX also features an ambidextrous magazine release, but the bolt release is on the left side only. The trigger though is extremely light with no discernible wall or take up. No, oh, it has good reset. Not that this SMG ever really needed a wall anyway because of the ranges it operates at. The Umrex Beretta PMX also comes with a 48 round metal GBB magazine that is identical to the KW MP9 and TP9 magazines and is compatible with both guns. So you shouldn't really have any trouble finding one. And now for the price. At just 289 US dollars, the PMX sits around the mid range for a GBB submachine gun. However, the value of the PMX is significantly higher as the metal to polymer ratio of this gun's materials is identical to its real steel counterpart. So the Umrex Beretta PMX is a solid but faithful recreation of the real life PMX submachine gun. But how does it shoot? As usual, let's head to the range to find out. And now for the chrono. As usual, we'll be firing 0.2 gram BBs using green gas. And now for the accuracy test. Here we are at landing zone yet again, this time at the 30 meter range. Now, usually for SMGs, we tend to go to 15 meters. Otherwise it'd be unfair with a short barrel and a limited power. But this has actually been performing quite well in our preliminary shooting. So we're gonna try and reach out there, right? So let's get to it. All right, just put it from a resting position. Fall through. Wow, all right, pretty impressive. Like honestly, accuracy wise, it's really good for such a small SMG. I really, really liked it. Uh, recoil wise, I will note that it doesn't actually recoil quite strongly. And that's probably because the bolt itself is, is actually quite light. You know, there's, there's the, you know, with the nozzle inside, it doesn't have a lot of metal inside it. So it recoils very, very slightly, you know, Almost like, an, almost like an EBB in a way, but it also means that you can get very, very fast, accurate groups, and the rate of fire is really, really fast. I'm really impressed by it. And yeah, it's just a really ergonomic gun. You know, that's the thing I found about the, the PMX. You know, it doesn't look very unique. You know, it looks very, very standard, you know, similar to the, P, the M12 before it came, but yeah, but ultimately, it's extremely skirmishable, and I really will recommend this for newer users who are trying to get sort of familiar with the function of a GBB, but don't want to deal with all the hassle that usually comes with maintenance and all that. It's a really simple, easy to use, and idiot-proof gun. And you know what? If you fire it on full auto as well, the rate of fire is fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I like it. I like it. Anyway, let's check out the accuracy. All right, let's take a look over here. Right, here we are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So let's get a little grouping going around here. So, yeah. That is actually pretty impressive. Now you notice over here, we almost have two different groupings here. And that was earlier on, I noticed that the BBs were just shooting a tiny bit to the right. So I shifted fire over and it pretty much started nailing it round about more towards the center over here. And honestly, for a tiny little SMG like this, this sort of performance at 30 meters is really impressive. Um, in fact, struggling to think how many other GBBs were as, like, as close to being accurate as this. And I would say that the VFC G36 exceeded this 
was the only one that really exceeded this that well. So very impressed, you know, this being made by KWA often does have a reputation for many of their guns being quite accurate. And this is no exception. Thankfully, in this case, the hoppo is actually accessible. So I'm really happy about that. Overall, yeah, I really do like it. It's just a light, really efficient, easy to use and decent performer. And it has a bonus foregrip to count. So what can I, what can I complain about? Anyway, yeah, quite impressive. Let's head back to the studio. And we're back. Overall, we found the Umarex Beretta PMX to be an excellent, straightforward replica that is yet again another outstanding offer from KWA and Umarex in general. In terms of looks and functions, the Umarex PMX perfectly captures the look and feel of the real PMX, right down to the smallest detail. And the polymer makes it light and easy to use. Accuracy too is no slouch as you saw in the range test and the PMX ranks as one of the more accurate SMGs we've shot on this channel as well as the easy to adjust hop up being a remarkable improvement for KWA guns in general. Overall we give the Umarex PMX by KWA an outstanding 4.5 stars out of 5. It's a well built functional and easy to use replica with the shooting performance to match making it perfect for CQB and room clearing. In fact, the only lack of steel in its metal components prevents it from getting full marks. So if that isn't really something you care about, this is basically almost as good as it gets. So let's hand it over to you guys. What are your thoughts on the Umarex PMX by KWA? Let us know in the comments section below. And for these cool products and many more, visit us at www.redolfairsoft.com. This is Andrew, out.